Parent-teacher conference has just ended for this guy. Bennett did great. He didn't want me to film inside, which I understood, so that's cool, but just so <laughs> <laughs> that haunted my dreams last night. I saw that guy. That's the guy that, you know what that guy does in the future? What? That guy drives an ice cream truck. <laughs> you are a chocolate? <laughs> Conference number two. <laughs> I love scaring you guys. So first conference went great. Sophia will do amazing as well. Amy's going out of town this weekend. So <clears throat> we gotta get get her packed up and she's going to Minnesota for a wedding. Gotta pack for like the cold and of course never has anything to wear. Why do girls never have anything to wear? You go in their closet and you couldn't file a piece of paper in their closet because it's so thick with clothes, but yet there's nothing to wear. I just don't, I still don't understand that. And now she's saying it too. All right, so here we go. Conferences there's for no Sophia. Places to park. Oh yeah, there's places to park. Somebody's backing out. Told you I am the parking yeah. whisperer. Pull out, pull out, and then go. pull out, and then go. Yeah. We're a little bit early. We're here at uh, Willowdale Elementary waiting for Sophia's. I don't want you to do that. I'm not Seven talking to grandma. I'm not talking. You're going to tell my mom. What is this, 1987? You're going to tell my mom? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing you've ever said. Well, I'm going to tell your mom. So we got to make a deal. If you have a grade that's bad, how much are you going to pay me to not tell your mom? Okay, just well, let's answer this because I gotta know. How much are you gonna pay me if you get a bad grade to not tell your mom? Five thousand. Five thousand what? Euros? You have no money. What are you gonna pay me? Are you gonna clean what? Like clean my my truck I'll once a week for uh I'll two months? Clean, uh, yes. What will you do? I'll clean your truck once. Okay, so if you get a bad grade, I won't tell mom if you clean my truck. Yes. Once. Yes. I'll turn it off, please. Deal. Okay, so we're out. It's painless. She did awesome. Back at Walgreens, and, and you know, here's the, here's the deal. My wife's doing other stuff. She's going out of town this weekend. She's gotta go to a wedding. So um, she's running around doing a million other things. So I told her that I would grab the wedding card. You guys don't know what we're looking for for a wedding card. Gotta work. That's what my arms look like. I need to get a basket. It's actually it, I think. This is a huge tip for guys. If your wife asks you to do certain things and like to buy her things while you're shopping, you know, for shopping for her, Amy calls ahead. This is huge. She calls ahead and gets somebody at the Walgreens or Target or whatever to find the stuff she needs and then set it aside and makes it so much easier. Makes it so much easier for, for dudes, me, to not make that decision and have to guess. So that's awesome. 115 pounds. Okay. So there's two. And I think if you feel the difference, these uh -huh. are thicker. Yeah. But these are. Yeah. And this one, one of them has the panty built in. Oh, that's like my, the word that I like, like hate the worst. I hate that word. Panty. It like uh -huh. creeps me out. I know. Kind of like moist. Moist. Totally. <laughs> you and I are like totally yes. the same wavelength. Yes. Moist. It's, it's so these are blackout tights shaping. Naughty word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'll just get both of them. Okay. Um, Sounds and good. Then and then let her pick out. Use, and, and then if she doesn't use them, she can bring one back. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you seriously You're for helping welcome. me. I really appreciate it. I think we're a That's a humongous help to have your wife call ahead of time and get the stuff for you. So my whole entire episode for today was completely done until we started talking about 
words that I hate on Friday morning show. And if you guys have been listening for any period of time, you know that I hate the word panties. Can't stand it. The appropriate word is underpants. So then I start getting these text messages from my children because they're off school and they were listening. Yeah. So that makes it even creepier and I hate that word even more. But as we head into the weekend, you guys, just think of a couple of things. Look around your life. Be grateful for everything you have. Sometimes it's really, really hard. I know that. And I don't mean to sound preachy, but it's the truth. Be grateful for everything you have. Be nice to other people. Make fun of yourself. That will help you with your attitude. It'll change your life. It'll change really the way you think about everything. And then when you do that, phew, the rest of your day is easy. You're going to be hitting greens the entire way. Which, if you're new, it means basically you're on your way to work or you're on your way to something. You don't hit one red light. You're hitting green lights the entire way. And that's what you want your life to be, right? Hit greens the entire way. You're going to hit a red. You're going to blast through a yellow every once in a while. But occasionally you have those days where all you hit is greens. And those are great days. So just think about that. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Don't email me or text me or post the word panties. It's gross. You just texted me panties. <laughs> Stop it. What did you say? Panties. Stop it. That's gross. Did you get my text? Not yet. I haven't, but I'm sure I will. Go. You guys can't listen to our radio show. Panties. Okay, that is nasty. Go. That is so creepy, and then especially have you say it. It's a <laughs> gross word. So gross. Since I didn't have a video on Monday, I couldn't tell you that I was planning on doing a commando Wednesday. I haven't been wearing underpants all day. It's kind of weird. Jeans feel weird.